<laughs> Writing that feels pretty cool. <laughs> What is up, you guys? How are we doing? My name is Adam, as always, and welcome to a brand new day. Today is Saturday, I'm talking about yesterday, which was Friday, because yesterday, I met Logan Paul. I'm gonna cut straight to the chase, and kinda let you know how I met Logan Paul, and how I got a picture with him. It's kind of a weird scene at Coachella. There are an absolute ton of celebrities there, like, an insane amount of celebrities. I think yesterday we saw Bieber, Kendall Jenner, um, one of the Kardashian girls, I don't know who it was, one sec. Babe, which Kardashian did we see yesterday? Courtney Kardashian. I'm gonna kinda tell you guys exactly how little old me, mom spaghetti. Yeah, that's an Eminem pop-up shop. You know I went there for lunch today. As you guys saw in, the, in yesterday's video, this is a massive house. It's absolutely stunning. You can literally hear Coachella right behind me. It is a blast. We got here on Wednesday morning. We had all of Thursday to kinda just chill. Friday, we were pumped to go to the festival. First thing we did was we got kind of this tour of backstage. Well, back Coachella, back festival. So much stuff happening back here, it's absolutely nuts. You see, there's still, like, look at this, there's still food. <laughs> during the first two days of the fest, you know, they're still finishing the festival. Had our tour guide called Noah, not really a tour guide, tour guide's the wrong word, the VIP concierge. We text him, and he literally will do whatever we need. Hey, Noah, can you bring us around and tour the grounds? Yep, no problem. There's like a bunch of trees getting planted. About like detail, new place to do it. Guest passes, Platinum Estates. Platinum Estates is where we're staying. Orange ones lets us kind of go anywhere in the festival. Black ones are what get us into certain kind of dorm and certain lodging areas. We get these little cool little back start, backstage shuttles that take us from stage to stage so we don't have to kind of walk in the crowds. If you guys ever get a chance to VIP Coachella, do it. I got a sweet new shirt. The shirt I'm wearing isn't the shirt that I bought, but I got another cool shirt which I'm gonna be wearing tonight. I think this is where I say subscribe so you can see tonight's shirt. If you guys actually care about the shirt that I'm gonna wear tonight, then uh, yeah, you can go ahead and subscribe. That'd be cool. Finally, it's go time. The early stages of Coachella are kind of like, yeah. I have no idea which artists are playing, but I know that Kygo is playing. I know the name Kygo, but I'm not sure why or how, but I thought, hey, I recognize it. Let's go check it out. So we kind of go to Kygo, we're chilling, we're dancing. So we're there, we're kind of scoping out the scene, we're getting ready for the weekend. Christina and I are old. I'm 25 and she's 24. Two small kids at home. We're used to going to bed at like 10, 10.30. The weekend didn't start until 11.45. Yeah, like, what, who's, what, what happens past 11.45? Now with these orange wristbands, we get to kind of go into like this like special part of the stage. It's like right up front to the left. Uh, we're able to, whoa, there's a giant. Uh, it's right by the stage. Really, really good spot to view things. Kind of, it's, it's called the VIP stage area. Earlier that day, I saw Logan's manager, Jeff, just behind us, and I kind of thought, hey, cool, I made this license plate that says Logan on it. I made it kind of just, I thought one day it'd help me meet him. And I was like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if I uh, showed Jeff that license plate? Wouldn't that be slick? Go through my phone, couldn't find my uh, my buddy Ben. I'm like, yo, Ben, I need the picture of the Logan license plate. He's like, yep, on it. Sends it to me, I got it in my phone. This is, Jeff's long gone from this point, but I thought, you know what, whatever, we'll probably see him again. I'm not sure why that's how my head works, but I just assume we're gonna see famous people at all times. So anyway, and all of a sudden I hear, hey, check out Dwarf Mamba on Instagram. Dwarf Mamba, I, I know Dwarf Mamba. So I turn around, it's Big Mike. Whoa, cool. I'm here, they're here, super close. These guys are giant, by the way. Like, I'm tiny, so I'm a bad comparison, but I'm about 5'8". These guys towered, towered over me. So Logan pops out of nowhere, and he's right there. It's also worth noting that to my right was Yo Moxie, and I was kind of looking at her like, what, what, what? And then I saw her story, I messaged her on Instagram, and she was like, yeah, that was me, I saw you last night. 
There's like a celebrity central here. You come to California, you just see famous people. So anyways, Logan's there, they're kind of dancing. Logan's super chill, like he's so, so, so high energy on camera. He is insanely chill in person. The dynamic of the elements was really, really cool. We had Spencer, who was like totally behind the scenes. Uh, he wasn't filming too, too much. Mike and Logan were like super tight. Logan looked pretty tired. He was on saying he doesn't want to go to Coachella. It's midnight, I can't imagine. It's midnight, like what, who, who, who does? So he's there, super low key. Uh, I kind of caught his attention and I said, yo Logan, I'm from a small town up in Canada and I made this license plate, um, you know, after I started watching you, what do you think? Looked at it and said, man, that is so cool. And then Logan Paul said to me, let's take a picture. Logan Paul asked me to take a picture. I mean, granted, uh, if I hadn't shown him the license plate, he probably wouldn't have said that, but still pretty slick. Logan and I snapped this picture, super awesome. He's really polite, he's nice, he says what up. Uh, we take the picture and then uh, he kind of goes back to his crew, I'm back with mine, Yo Moxie's beside me, Logan Paul's on my other side, I'm surrounded by celebrities, I'm just having a good time. The weekend was absolutely incredible. Voila, that's the story. All in all, a pretty incredible time. It's kind of weird because, you know, he's a YouTube star. He's not famous for movies. Anyone, I mean, literally, I'm going on YouTube right now. Anyone with a camera can literally go on YouTube and do what they want to do. Uh, he's just ludicrously famous for it. When I see him, I feel like I know him. It's it's the weirdest thing. He doesn't remember me meeting him yesterday, but I'm making a 10, 15 minute video about meeting him. It's super, super cool. I have nothing but respect for the guy. He was super polite. Logan, if somehow you see this, thank you very much. It made my night really, really cool uh, seeing someone that I watch quite literally every single day, um, you know, and being able to take a picture with them. So really appreciate it. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this story. Uh, it was a pretty cool experience. I'm pretty happy and pretty lucky to be able to share it with you guys. I think too, today we're kind of just crossing over the thousand subscriber mark. So we started today with about 992. We got as high as 1,002 where we're kind of bouncing in between there. So really appreciate your support. If you guys like the story, if you like kind of, you know, my vibe and kind of what I'm doing, you know, if you like watching people go to Coachella, then press the subscribe button. You guys can unsubscribe later if you don't want uh, to keep watching me in my life. But there's a pool back there calling my name. Catch you guys later. Let it be, just slant through, don't tread on me, got on me, pin for your thoughts, stop and don't